Good morning. Good morning. We are in a very rainy Yorkshire town, mm, aren't we? Yeah. Well, specifically, wow. we're in York. York. Not that that makes it any clearer. No. Look how massive that it thing is. It is an enormous building. Yeah. This is ordinarily where they'd be, oh, hello, working on uh, fixing up the Minster. It's so beautiful. Look at the architecture, it's so beautiful. It's huge. And we are off to visit York Minster. We are, yeah. It's, um, I wish I could give you facts about it, but I don't know any yet because we're not there. It's a very big minster. Stay tuned, I suppose. <laughs> yes. Found your throne there. Oh, yes. I'm glad you got that one. That is my throne. <laughs> Pretty impressive, size. isn't it? It's huge. I think it's one of the biggest or the biggest stained glass windows. It's so big, so much detail, you can yeah. barely even see. Trippy. The mirror of Erised. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh yeah, that's giving me vertigo, that's weird. <laughs> this place is enormous. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get a, a real perspective on how huge it is. And here, unfortunately, is the organ which is currently under renovation like this place is always having work done to it you can see that they are um, dismantling and cleaning 5,379 organ pipes wow that is mental. that's a lot of organ pipes that's Gandalf's brother here Walter do you know how I know so Gracie mm. I've got a fun fact for you okay you see where the archways don't line up Oh yeah, I just Yeah, that's where they've added bits on to the minster over the years. Oh, that's so, an exception. Yeah, different architects have basically sort of come from the very bottom down towards us. And then that's why this archway right in the middle of the screen here doesn't line up to the ones at the end. Because oh, cool. they screwed up, they have done goofed. I'm all about the minster facts, me. Down into the crypt. Are you going to be the crypt to keep her gracie? Yes. So these are like the original parts of the church. Yeah, the main pillars. And they're now kind of working as foundations for what is the current Mm-hmm. It's minister. built around these, isn't it? And if you see here, you can see like back in the day a trader has put his mark on there. Yeah, that was like an artist signing his, yeah, his work, basically. His work. It was just to prove that they'd done their um, daily yeah. so they get paid. as well. So <laughs> amazing down here. This gives you an idea of how old this is. Here you can see they even used old bits to build the walls. It's clearly an old sculpted piece that I thought, yeah, chuck it in. Chuck that bad boy in. Crazy. Shall we go into even no, deeper? Let's go even deeper. Example of them using bits. That looks like well, it looks like a top a of a pot, but yeah, it's a pillar, isn't it? Yeah. And here as well. Yeah. Very thrifty, weren't they? Yeah, well, didn't let anything go to waste. How yeah, about well, this? Literally called the Doomstone. Pretty spectacular place, isn't it? It's amazing, yeah. Look at the, I just can't get over bikinis. I know. There's the other side of the organ. If you ever wondered what the back side of an organ looks like. Look at that architecture. It can, it's actually quite haunting at times. This is crazy, isn't it? It's mental, isn't it? Like stained glass windows all the way around. 
that's how you know it's old, see? Plugs. Well, that was fun. Yeah, it's very I felt, interesting. Felt way out of my depth in there, but um, I'm hungry now. Yes, let's get the food. Let's get the food. Imagine being this tiny little church right next to York Minster. <laughs> like, how, how much of a complex must this yeah, church have? It's being outshone. This pub here, as you can see from the name, is the Guy Fawkes Inn. And why is that? Well, apparently Guy Fawkes was born there, but then again, there's about 50 places in <laughs> Yorkshire yeah. that claim that Guy Fawkes was born there. But Don't you think it's strange that we celebrate Guy Fawkes? We do, he's essentially a terrorist. He is essentially a terrorist. I, I look failed forward, one at that. I look forward in 400 years to when uh, there are pubs named the Osama Bin Laden. Oh, Ooh, love a Christmas shop. Bread sandwich. So just I just it. have the meat on my hand, please. Oh, or is that good. not just a, just a roast dinner in this context? Probably, yeah. Right, shall we go and do some more exploring of York? Yes. Where shall we go next? Oh, hello, darling. Let me do an intro thing. Where are we, Gracie? We are hanging out with some cats. We are cheating on Basil. There's a blob. There's a familiar-looking blob <laughs> with a tail hanging down. We're in a cat cafe. Where are all the cats? Oh, I see some. Oh, it's that anti basil. Well, I've seen you come in, they're off. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, he's a big boy. He's massive, isn't he? Oh, oh, there's he's another playing. one somewhere. <laughs> I can hear him. Are you in there? Where are you? There you are, I see you. This is the smallest cat I've ever seen. Hello. Oh. Look at that one just sat in the box. Oh, yeah. Wow, this is so pretty. You're so pretty. Oh, they're coming out everywhere. Oh, my God, there's thousands of them. Oh, these must be related. Yeah. These two seem very, very mischievous, aren't we? Are you gonna go and get him? Oh, action shot. Oh my god. This boy 
boy wasn't very happy with being stroked. <laughs> he went for me, and I'm used to that at home. Oh, hello. How are you doing, your friends? Yeah, your friends. And Grace is making friends with a kitten. Oh. Don't get attacked. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think Grace is going to smuggle this one out. Yeah, definitely. What are you doing, little cat? What are you doing? Oof. This one just keeps winding up all the other cats. The pretty one is the is the bitch one. Why are you a nuisance? Oh look, you've been rumbled. No, oh, uh, yeah, play it cool, eh? Attack the plants. <laughs> is this one giving you love? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'll smuggle this one out. You smuggle the other one out. Yeah, but this one seems more quiet. This one seems. That's why I'm smuggling well this one out. Can I have a kiss? Yeah. Uh oh, Gracie, what happened? Um, you ordered a cream tea? No, I didn't. That cat did. You've got to go jam and then cream with these because um, it just makes it easier to spread the jam rather than trying to smush it into the cream. Makes sense. Pro tip. Then you can get more cream as well. Is it good? Mm hmm. Nice. I've got a feeling this trip's going to be all about food. Food and cats. And cats. What's he doing? He's trying to sit in there, I think. Hey, Pip. How is it? <laughs> it's the best. I love a scone. A scone. A scone. You're not the queen, it's scone. Like scone. cone and bone. Not con and gone and bon. We've been warned about this cat. <laughs> Keeps trying to. <laughs> this cat's called Olaf, and apparently he won't stop trying to steal your cake, will you? Hmm? And you're deaf, aren't you? That doesn't make you any. You can come and join me then. Come and join me rather than trying to steal cake. Hey. Okay. Nope. <laughs> stop. Stop. Why are you like this, Olaf? <laughs> I like warm hugs. Oh my god. <laughs> She's gonna try this tactic now, you little monkey. Babe, can you help now, please? No, it's funny. <laughs> oh, laugh. <laughs> what are you doing? You're gonna come around this way. Yeah. Oh, what a sneak. Stop it. He's gonna crawl on and spill all our tea, babe. You're gonna use my. Look, just stay here, look. Don't just. Yay, he's on my knee. He's not trying to get to the food. Stop. <laughs> Put it down now. I can't. <laughs> Stop it. I want to enjoy my scone. <laughs> Put it down now, seriously. Come on, I need help, please. <laughs> Come here, come on, come on, come sit next to me. Come sit here, come sit here. We've got no ulterior motive whatsoever. <laughs> Ow, his claws, stop it. Hey, seriously. <laughs> seriously, what do you want me to do? Put the camera down and help. Uh-oh, someone's back. We were told you don't go after tea, but yet here you are. <laughs> You're gonna knock this off, aren't you? Oh, I don't know why I'm actually tutting at you, because uh, cause you're, you're deaf, apparently. Don't touch me. Oh my god, he's nuzzling it out. Yeah. He's a cake fiend. Something that we relate to. <laughs> 
You are a nightmare, Olaf. Olaf. Aren't you? It's my turn. Oh, you found these two, have you? Oh, look how cute. Oh my god. The third right. one just needs to get in there, right? <laughs> Is that not adorable enough for you? <laughs> look, they even have a framed photo of Basil on the wall. So we've come out of the cat cafe and notice on the door there's a mouse. There's another one. That's because the architect who did a lot of stuff around York, um, his name was Robert Thompson, but his nickname was Mousy. Because he used to put his little calling card on his architecture. And apparently there is some in, in the Minster as well, but we, uh, the hell of us, cannot yeah. find them. So, <laughs> oh well. And we tried for a long time. We did. <laughs> time in the cat cafe. I loved it. You loved it? Yeah, I want to go back. Well, now you can go to the Wizarding World. Or at least the inspiration. The real or, one. Hey, because this road is the inspiration, apparently, for Diagon Alley. Well, yeah, you can see that. Look, look at all the overhanging buildings. It's it incredible. Yeah, it definitely does look like Diagon Alley. And uh, I believe there are three Harry Potter shops? Yes. Here? I think so, And yeah, also a Game of Thrones shop, which is quite random. So let's, go, uh, let's go find our one day. Oh, it's 2019. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh, okay. Around from Not Diagon Alley, we have a tiny church and then the world's most amusing street name Whitmer Watmergate, which is the longest name for a street for the shortest street in the world yeah. or the country. Which the is shortest basically... street in York. Oh, in York. Well, that's not quite as impressive. We're now going to head into the Jorvik Centre, which is basically a ride beneath the streets of York, all about the Vikings. Let's go. It really smells in here. So creation of ribbons beneath our feet. Yeah, they were here. This is how they were when they were here. But because the York keeps falling, I think they've been taken away to preserve it. So it's so a yeah. 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 Oh, he's hard at work. Sigurd. Sigurd. Doing his thing. With his comb. Making combs. He certainly has very well kept hair. So. He does. The theme is very good. Yeah. They've even got smell ponds. Yeah, yeah. Absolute stinks. <laughs> it smells like real Viking Age York. Oh my god, look. Now we're back at the cat cafe again. Oh dear, someone's not very well. Wow, look at him. I wish you'd do that for you. <laughs> I don't have enough hair on the front to do that. <laughs> oh, lovely stuff. Oh, it's so nice. Mmm. Oh, it's so nice. Mmm, you found some shoes. Okay, yeah. And a cone. And a cone. Oh. Viking bones. A Viking sock. The only one ever found in England. The only one ever found. What happened to the other one? Wow, it's a question, isn't it? Viking Pooh. We are flying through York today, aren't we, Grace? We are, yeah. We're now going to go to the Yorkshire Museum. Oh, I love the museum. Learn all about Yorkshire. Yorkshire Squirrel with his nuts. The Yorkshire Museum. Lots of uh, stones. Lots of stones in the museum. Tools that people have made or. Can I just stop you there? What is that? Mm. Not they were drunk when they wrote that. They could no longer. Come on then. Oh no. You've, been, you've done it worse than me. Oh, now 
Wow. Well, what have you found? Sea creature. Giant sea creature. <laughs> so that's what it looks like, or it would look like. It's amazing. It's in the room! <laughs> Oh, well, Gracie. Hmm. That's about it. Mm -hmm. Not very big, is it? No, what they've got there is great, but it's just yeah. not very big. You've just got a little bit about York, like beneath us basically, and then the dinosaurs are over there. I suppose we should head that way. I mean, to the exit, not to that person. Check out these ruins. Amazing. And it's pretty spectacular. Good, isn't it? Yeah, it's well good. Well, that was that. Yep. Next on the itinerary is a um, haunted bus tour. Ooh. So, got no idea what to expect. Ghosts. Ghosts. I would not want to be here at night time. No, that'd be scary, wouldn't it? Got old some of these Stop! Moved. Something moved. No. Something moved. Stop Something moved. <sighs> I am naked. Me too. We've walked forever. Yeah. So we're going to go back and check out our Airbnb where we're staying. Yeah. So hopefully. A rest. Yeah, hopefully it's not um, a crap hole. I'm sure it won't be. Ugh, and here is our Airbnb. You're unpacking our stuff. I am, yeah. Got a little bathroom. Got a little futon thing, turns into a bed, a chair, a little kitchenette. Uh, and there's the lovely York sky. <laughs> lovely stuff. And there's in case you forget the alphabet, and that's nice too. And a telly, a tiny telly on the wall because we're basically above someone's garage. <laughs> but it's very nice, I like it. Yeah, it's really modern, isn't it? It's quite cheap. And clean, really so, nice looking. Yeah, yeah, that's all you want, isn't it? Somewhere yeah. to lay your head, somewhere clean. So it's all good. And just to note that this converts into a bed, obviously. I don't know if you said that. I think I did, yes. Yeah. So that's why we'll be laying my head tonight. <sighs> or now. I may be laying it now. Time to head back out for more adventuring. <sighs> Gracie, where's our spooky bus? I don't know. I've only got there five minutes. There is no minutes. sign of it, unless it's been here the whole time. There's our spooky bus. Spooky bus. Now, your driver is a man of a certain notoriety. Bigger than it is today. It used to stretch all the way down the other side of the street and round the corner. The lady who wore grey. Is the lady in question I'm referring to? Ivor the Bungus. Ivor the Bungus was an exceptional sod, an evil man indeed. Rich to go down into the basement and tackle this problem. She was found dead next morning, five puncture marks in her chest. I will count you in. <coughs> and look, Mr. Wilson, if you die, should Margaret take you, in the words of Judas Iscariot, my back. Oh my god, I'm so tired. No, how, how was your experience on the spooky bus? It was good actually, yeah. Worth the money. It was a long, um, it was a long it tour, was, yeah. really. Sp speaking of long, it's been a long day. Yeah. Oh, I'm knackered. And I don't know if they're in shot. No, they're not. We just, we decided to go to a kebab shop on the way back to the Airbnb to um, to get some fuel. Mm, because there's vegetables on there, though. Yeah, they're on. It makes it healthy. Mm -hmm. We're good, going to do all this again tomorrow, so we definitely need to relax. So... On that note, we're going to go and eat this and then probably pass out. Day two, mm. out for more adventures. Where's it going to take us today? Oh, we'll find out, won't we? We will. Nowhere spooky there, no spooky buses. Mm -mm. Let's go do a chocolate factory tour, Gracie. Oh, there's not really any chocolate left after on. You're going to have it all? Yes. <laughs> you enjoying the chocolate experience? Yeah, we've had samples going around. We have? Yeah. We're going to make our own bars. We are, yeah. Yeah. Just remember that chat? Are you ready for Are you ready for Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, right. Chocolate. Yeah, right. 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 Some 
Into it, you then leave it to cool. And you... uh, the passion fruit chocolate that he just made. How is it? Wow, wow, it looks good. Like Solero, Solero, really nice. Enjoy that? Yeah, it was brilliant. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, let's go get some more chocolate in the shop. Time for another one of these bad boys, and this time, and you've got the same but without dinner, the rest. Yeah. Oh, and some potatoes. What have you done? You smacked it. You've broken my lolly. Should we try it? Yeah. Oh gosh, it's not going to be a lolly. Oh, no. Not that bit. Like the Joker. Is it good? Oh, wow. Nice flaky. Nice. Made this with my own fair hands. Oh, Good. lovely crispy. Mm. Chocolate's really um, smooth, isn't it? Mm. I'm an expert chocolatier, has to be said. Heading up the wall which surrounds the city of York. Oh. This isn't creepy at all. The minster through the trees. Okay. Yeah. Tight in a few places. <laughs> These views. Part of the free touring. So the deal with this investment. Oh my shit off this staircase. Duck! It's like I'm caving. Another section of the wall. Gracie's bossing it because look at that drop. <laughs> no railing. Screw health and safety here on the, the wall surrounding York. Oh, wow. oh yeah, the minster over there. Can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna fall. Oh God. <laughs> Just a spider chilling on the wall. Is that one of those ones that could kill you? No. Just this, uh, looking at this office building and nearly scared the shit out of me. Buzz Lightyear, being some sort of, I don't know, health and safety executive. Wow, look how high this river is. The trees are even underwater. Oh dear, even the cafe is underwater. Not good. Clifford's Tower in the distance there. Coming down to, yeah, basically a whole lot of flooding. You can even see like the cycle path paint on the pavement underneath. And there's Clifford's Tower in the back. Hmm. Came here on the ghost on the spooky ghost tour we last did, night. Yeah. Yeah. We're not gonna go up because it costs money, but no. and I it looks good. Up those stairs. No, we've already done a lot of walking. Gracie, yeah. don't forget your nightly bile beans. Keeps you healthy, bright eyed and slim. I'm knackered. Absolutely knackered. <laughs> So uh, we're calling it early tonight because, yeah, we're dead. We're absolutely dead. We've done like 15,000 steps, added on to the God knows how many thousands we did yesterday as well. Uh, so now, much like yesterday, we've gone for a takeaway. We've got a, got a good old pizza. We're on holiday. Why not? Yeah, and then we're going to pass out. And then we'll do some sort of conclusion after that, which is going to be now for you guys. Hey, Bazzy, do you forgive us for going to the cat cafe? You're purposefully looking past me, aren't you? Hmm? Hmm? Does that mean you don't forgive us? So it's the next day. We are home. We were just so tired. Knackered, weren't we? That we couldn't, <laughs> we didn't do a, yeah, a conclusion. But here we are to do it now. So what was your highlight of York? Uh, probably the 
cat cafe. That was cat cool. cafe was your, something you could do anywhere. Was the highlight of our trip you to one of the most historical anywhere. cities in the world. You can't do the cat cafe anywhere. We couldn't do it here. There's no cat cafe there here. There's a cat there. I can see him. Mm -hmm. He's licking his genitals. Um, I also really enjoyed um, York Minster. It was really beautiful. York there. Minster is epic. The bus tour was okay. Mm. It wasn't. It, wasn't it was the fun, best thing, but, but I wouldn't do it again. Uh, Jorvik Centre is very good. Walking the Wall is excellent. The roast wraps in Ooh, yeah. Yorkshire puddings. They were a highlight. Very nice. Mm -hmm. um, but it, all in all, York is an amazing city. And if you ever get a chance, jump at it and go the, there. The accommodation we stayed at was really good as well. I'd yeah. definitely stay there again. Nice Airbnb. It's uh, got parking. It's affordable. It's all good. So um, on that bombshell, I think... Um, I think it's safe to say that we love York. We do.